Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big edge with another video, man. New media notification game. God Sword. What it is, man. Look, check this out, man. See, this is why I don't say shit like that. Because I noticed how when it comes to ma mainly any popular fighter, it's always some false narrative bullshit. What I will say, and I'm sure it's going to be somebody going to say some dumb shit, but Canelo can do no right. Even when he doing no wrong, he can still do no right. When you are in a position like Saul Canelo Alvarez, it don't matter if you go left, right, up, down, north, northwest, north, south, southwest. No matter where you go in the trajectory of your career, you will never be making the right move. If you fight Jermail Charlo, they saying you ducking David Benavidez, and now they saying you ducking Bivol all of a sudden. First, motherfuckers didn't want you to fight Bivol. They said, don't stay away from Bivol. Now that you fighting somebody other than Dimitri Bivol, now Canelo ducking Bivol. For years, everybody been saying he been ducking Jamal Char Charlo for years. They been saying he been ducking Jamal. Now the nigga finna fight him, or it's looking highly likely that he's about to fight this nigga. And now all y'all talking about is he ducking David Benavidez. And if he were to fight David Benavidez, all you Charlo fanboy niggas will say he's ducking Jamal. He ducking the Charlo smoke. So it don't really matter. What Canelo do? It doesn't matter what he do. No matter what Saul Canelo Alvarez do, it'll never be good enough for you. It don't matter what he do. It does not matter who he fights. He's always going to be perceived as ducking somebody. No matter who he fight. And I've been peeping that shit over the past few weeks. I was like, he finna fight this nigga. And now y'all saying he ducking this nigga. But then when he was finna fight this nigga, y'all said he was ducking that nigga. So it really don't matter what he do. You're going to always say he ducking somebody. So he damned if he do, damned if he don't. So look, man. I feel how I feel when it comes to Saul Conor Alvarez among certain things, but I will never take away the accolades and accomplishments that the man has in his illustrious career, bro. For real, for real. And once you at a place in juncture in your career where it really don't matter what you do, people going to shit on you regardless, you won. You pretty much won. Because you could fight whomever. They still going to find a way to shit on you. And I don't think that's fair to Canelo. I don't think that's right to Canelo. Because when it comes to certain other fighters, y'all don't got that same energy. Just with Canelo. So I do have a little pet peeve or a little issue about that when motherfuckers want to try to put all this pressure on this one motherfucker, but the person that they so-called bigging up, they don't got that same energy. I ain't with all that. Canelo deserves all the positive feedback he's getting because he's one of the most active fighters in the sport today. In a, in the time where fighters only fight maybe once or twice a year, this is a dude that's mainly, tr well, at a time was fighting three, maybe even four times in a year. You know what I'm saying? So fighters are not doing that no more. That is honestly in this day and age unheard of. And Canelo is one of the very few fighters, if any other fighters that actually will consistently fight. You know, for a fact, you're going to see Canelo either Cinco de Mayo. You're going to see him in September. You know, you know, for a fact, you're going to see Canelo two or three times in a year. You can't say that about any fighter. You cannot tell me you know for an absolute fact that a certain fighter is going to fight two or three times in a year. If nothing else, he gonna, you're going to get at least two good fights out of him. You know that. You don't know if you're going to get two fights out of Tank Davis a year. You don't know if you're going to get two fights out of Errol Spence a year. You don't even know if you're going to get two fights out of Terrence Bud Crawford every year. Or the Charlo Brothers. Hell, Jam Jamal then been holding his belt for motherfucking 500 days. So for somebody that is willing and has fought between two, maybe even four times, not now, 
Not now. I know somebody going to say something about the foe. But he's for sure going to give you two to three fights a year. Easy. No problem. And he don't get no props for being consistent in giving fights. Regardless of how y'all want to say he ain't fight this person. He, it don't matter who Canelo fights. You always going to say he ducking somebody. It don't matter. So, Canelo damned if he do, damned if he don't. Meanwhile, he's the only fighter that's giving us consistent fights every year, for sure. Say what you want. But name me somebody that you know, for sure, in the past five years that has been giving us consistent fights every fucking year in the past five years, That aside from Saul Canelo Alvarez. I can really only think of maybe one person. Maybe one person that was willing to give us two to three fights per year while he was champion. But when he lost, he, everybody shitted on him. And that was Anthony Joshua. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the fighters that's willing to give us what we want to see or give us the, give us consistent activity, they get the most smoke. But the ones that want to be all in the videos, all on the shows, all on the interviews, y'all love them. Y'all hype them niggas up. Cap shit. Saul Conor Alvarez do deserve a little more respect on his name than what he's getting. And it does not matter who he fights or when he fights. You're always going to say he's ducking somebody, even when he's really not. It doesn't matter who he fights. It's always going to be perceived that way. He fights Jamal. He ducking David Benavidez. He fights David Benavidez. He's ducking Bivol. He fights Bivol. He's ducking David Benavidez and Jamal Charlo. Either way, he can't get a, avoid somebody saying he's ducking somebody. But he's still fighting the top guy. That's the one thing that is getting overlooked and overshadowed. He might not fight this guy, but is he fighting the top guy? Yes, he's fighting top guy. How many motherfuckers can you say that? Not many. One. 